trichiasis guys in this video let us look at trichiasis so basically this is an eyelash disorder it comes under eyelash disorder so look at what is wrong with this eyelash normally how eyelash will be it will be like give us a dark green if you have yeah something like this it will be normally beautiful eyelashes people will have but here you can see the eyelash is inward so it's a misdirected cilia you can see that is trichiasis see it's inward so what will happen it will start uh, rubbing against the cornea conjunctiva and it will start irritating abrasions it can cause corneal ulcers so a lot of problems so non healing corneal ulcers etc will become because of trichiasis the trichiasis can be caused because of many things let's look at them trichiasis it refers to the inward misdirection of the cilia inward inward is the problem right if it's outward we don't have problem it's misdirection of the cilia so these uh, cilia start rubbi rubbing against the eyeball right um, a normal position only it will be it will be in its normal position that is lid margin only but it will be inwardly turned so it will start rubbing against the eyeball how will you define trichiasis inward misdirection of cilia which rub against the eyeball is trichiasis very good so can you see trichiasis here they seem to be inward yes okay then let's move on to pseudo trichiasis then what is pseudo trichiasis inward turning of the lashes along with the lid margin in tropion is called pseudo trichiasis that means the lashes did not turn inside actually the lid margin is turned inside so that becomes pseudo trichiasis pseudo trichiasis means what it is nothing but entropion where the lashes are also touching the eyeball entropion means what the lid margin itself has turned inside now let's move on guys what is the cause for trichiasis so etiology etiology of what of trichiasis trichiasis why and all does it happen because of trachoma remember this is trachomatis trichiasis you can see what a horrible situation this looks like it's almost like sweet ping across the eyeball dhara dhara so this is uh, cicatrizing trachoma in cicatrizing means what healing healing trachoma this condition is seen see trachoma is a cause of blindness infective cause of blindness so you should be very careful with this ulcerative blepharitis blepharitis means what this is a inflammation of the lid margin eyelid margin so it could be a subacute chronic condition and it's very common especially if it is caused because of bacterial it will be an also called as bacterial blepharitis or ulcerative blepharitis so that is what they are talking about here ulcerative blepharitis that means because of bacteria right that is bacterial blepharitis is what can be another cause of trichiasis healed membranous conjunctivitis membranous conjunctivitis we will see in diphtheria or what so the healed one see every time they are talking about the cicatrizing trachoma healed membranous conjunctivitis because of what let's check it see membranous conjunctivitis is because of diphtheria okay so this is nothing but diphtherial conjunctivitis diphtherial cordiolum externum cordiolum externum is nothing but the uh, infection of the zeis and mole glands of the uh, which are there at the hair follicles right of the eyelash so that is external hordeolum this is external hordeolum guys you can see how the lid margin the hair follicle the glands those are uh, fully infected so that is um, external hordeolum so that also can be a cause for these eyelashes to turn inward mechanical injury so injury happened then it turned inside burns remember you burnt your eye or put some burns chemicals there and the eyelashes are affected now operative scar on the lid march so now we know the etiology of trichiasis say the etiology trachoma blepharitis which is bacterial membranous conjunctivitis or diphtherial cordiolum external mechanical injuries burns operative scars on the lid margin all these are the causes of trichiasis let's just arrange this so that's it cicatrizing trachoma you should remember don't try just trachoma they like it like to hear cicatrizing trachoma or what this is trachomatis trichiasis tt trachomatis trichiasis cicatrizing trachoma okay we got the etiology now let's move on to what 
to trachomatis trichiasis tt it is uh, labeled as uh, labeled when at least one eyelash rubs the eyeball at least one eyelash is rubbing the eyeball it, and in trachoma it becomes trachomatis trichiasis evidence of recent removal of intern lashes should also be graded as trachomatis trichiasis they are just saying one eyelash is inside uh, it is trachomatis trichiasis or there should also be a history of trachoma what do you think even if there is a history that they removed the eyelash because it was invert, that also should be taken as trachomatis trichiasis, is it? So, what sensations, what will be the symptoms of these people? They will say they feel like some foreign body is there in the eye. They will have photophobia, right? And uh, the patient may feel troublesome, irritation, pain and lacrimation. Foreign body sensation, don't forget, okay? It is very important. Foreign body sensation, main cause could be, one of the causes when they ask me, it will be this one, trichiasis. What are the signs of? trichiasis signs will be misdirected cilia you will see that the misdirected cilia touching the cornea right uh, a reflex blepharospasm and it's trying to close the eyelid is it photophobia happens when the cornea is abraded so there's abrasion on the cornea conjunctiva may be congested in this one definitely it's congested signs of causative disease that is trachoma or blepharitis you might see that they had trachoma or blepharitis blepharitis was that ulcerative blepharitis bacterial so these people have some infection right so all these are the signs that you will see what are the complications if you don't treat trichiasis what will happen corneal abrasions which are recurrent that can that can lead to corneal opacity the cornea can get vascularized this corneal vascularization means how the cornea will not be transparent anymore that will be really bad right Non-healing corneal ulcer, one of the causes of one of the causes of non-healing corneal ulcer will be trichiasis. Very good. When not to when not treated in time, what complications can occur in the case of trichiasis? Now, now you have to answer this question. Corneal abrasion, superficial corneal opacity, corneal vascularization, non-healing corneal ulceration. Very important to write this non-healing corneal ulcer. Okay. Then what is the treatment? So, you can treat trichiasis by giving contact lens, right? So, that it will not abrade the cornea. So, it will touch but it will not, um, it will touch the contact lens, not the eye, not the eyeball. So, after contact lens, you can think about epilation, that is mechanical removal of these eyelashes with the forceps. So, this is a temporary measure because they will again grow back. So, just this is an epilation forceps. They are like short, stout forceps with blunt and flat ends. Okay, are you focusing? So, what are we looking at? The way to treat the trichiasis. Okay, let's get going. So, epilation forceps. How? Why do you use to epilate the cilia in trichiasis and sty? Sty is external hordeolum. So, you will epilate the cilia in all these cases to remove the cilia. Oh, even after electrolysis to remove the cilia, you will use this forceps. Even after cryolysis to remove the uh, cilia, that's nothing but hair lashes. Sorry, eyelashes to remove them, you will use this forceps. Okay. Even if there is a cilia which is clogged in the punctum, you will have to hold it, right? So, you will use these forceps. Otherwise, what we call this kind of thing in normal beauty is, tri uh, what is it called? A tweezer, something like that, right? Okay. Epilation. So, we are continuing with the treatment of uh, the trichiasis, electrolysis. Basically, you will destroy the lash follicle by electric current. Why? Because otherwise, even if you epilate it and remove the hair, it will keep growing again and again. So, in this technique, the inf infiltration anesthesia is given to the lid. So, you are giving anesthesia. What type of anesthesia? You are giving infiltration anesthesia uh, of what the current is specified, 2 milliamps. It is passed for 10 seconds through a fine needle inserted to the lash root. So, you are giving a small shock to the lash root. 10 seconds of shock. How much current? 2 milliampere. Okay. First, you will give anesthesia though, right? Anesthesia is given. And then a current of uh, 2 milliamp is passed for 10 seconds through the fine needle inserted through the root, lash root. The loosened cilia with destroyed follicles are then removed with epilation forceps. This kind of gives me an idea. This is what they do in uh, treatment hair, removal treatment also. No idea. Okay, let's move on. So, the, what did we look at now? Electrolysis, lysis, electrolysis. Okay, then we are moving on to cryoepilation. So, we are continuing with the treatment of what? Of trichiasis, a cryoepilation. Epilation means again something you are trying to remove the hair, right? Cryo, but this is cold because of minus 20 degree centigrade. Cryoprobe is applied for 20 to 30, 25 seconds. 
this one earlier was for 10 seconds now okay 20 to 25 seconds you need to give some cryo probe first you will give infiltration anesthesia in this also then you will do a cryo probe minus 20 degrees it is applied for 20 to 25 seconds to the external lid margin by double freeze thaw technique double freeze double freeze double freeze thaw method okay its main disadvantage is depigmentation of skin you might land up depigmenting that means it will become light or undercolored what do you feel so that's it about cryo epilation guys cryo cryo means minus 20 degrees centigrade 20 minutes remember 20 seconds remember that and all that you have to give uh, uh, anesthesia infiltration anesthesia so how will you treat summary you should say epilation is a temporary measure because again it will grow back so you can do electrolysis of the um, follicle itself you can destroy with the help of 2 milliampere current for 10 seconds or you can do cryoepilation minus 20 degrees is applied for 20 seconds uh, surgical correction is similar to the surgical this did we read similar to cicatricial entropion when the cilia are misdirected you will do some surgery what surgery see treatment for cicatricial entropion is mentioned as plastic operation there is some plastic operation which is based on any of the following basic principles altering the direction of the lashes you will alter the direction of the lashes you will transplant the lashes means what Strength, straighten the distorted tarsus see there are some surgical techniques they are talking about here anterior lamellar resection tarsal wedge resection is this for the trichiasis or just for the entropion transposition of tra tarso conjunctival wedge posterior lamellar graft senile entropion transverse averting suture vice operation plication of lower lid retractors jones operation why quicker procedure see that was to treat entropion okay whatever you saw till now so you if it is for more marks you can write the treatment for entropion if it is entropion then how will you treat all those procedures you can write okay but here we are looking at trichiasis as such right so then if you want you can write treatment for trachoma all the causes and all you can write you can try treatment for ulcerative blepharitis what and all you can write right but just remember three things here epilation electrolysis and cryoepilation say the three words please epilation yes what's the next one cryoepilation middle there was electrolysis yes electrolysis okay next let's move on surgical correction when many cilia are misdirected you might have to do an operation similar to the cicatricial uh, entropion which we just now saw v's jones and all that now there is another terminology called as this tree uh, this Tychiasis, T I, this tychiasis, this is where they have two rows of uh, cilia. So, if this is uh, like the extra beauty they have, one row of eyelashes, if we have, they have one more row of eyelashes. Nice, no? But that will lead to all this irritation on the eye, if it is inward, especially. Okay, so that is dystychiasis. We are not reading that in this video. What are we reading in this video? This is that, oh, this, this is sticky, this sticky as they have shown, see, yeah, very clearly we can see there's another row of eyelashes here and it's starting to rub on the cornea and the conjunctiva. So that is a different condition. In this video, we looked at trichiasis. It is inward misdirection of cilia, which rub against the eyeball. Pseudotrichiasis means the eyelid margin itself is inward that is entropion etiology can be trachoma blepharitis healed membranous conjunctivitis external hordeolum mechanical injuries burns and scars operative scars trachomatous trichiasis is tt clinical features these will have foreign body sensation photophobia irritation pain lacrimation signs you will see that there is misdirected cilia which is rubbing on the cornea there could be reflex blepharospasm they might just try to Close your eyelids because of that. Uh, photophobia, conjunctiva may be congested, cornea can be abraded. The causes you will see, you can see underlying infection like trachoma or blepharitis can be present. Complications if you don't uh, treat this corneal vascularization, oppression, opacity, non healing corneal ulcer. How will you treat? You can give simple contact lenses so that the, they don't rub against the eye. Epilation, uh, you can uh, remove them with an epilation forceps but that is temporary they grow back again then you can do electrolysis minus 
sorry 2 milliampere for 10 seconds cryoepilation minus 2 minus 20 degree centigrade for 20 seconds and uh, surgical correction similar to entropion that's it for now in this video on trichiasis bye bye